The type of thunderstorms that rolled through eastern Iowa last night are fairly common overall and were part of what's known as a squall line. I don't really know what that is, but I know someone who does. Storm Track 7 meteorologist Robbie Kamadari is here to explain exactly what a squall line is. Robbie. Luke, I'll try my best. I'll tell you that much. But yes, exactly. We're going to look into what squall lines are. They're a pretty common feature in terms of like a type of thunderstorm for the most part. So we're going to look at this real quick. Again, this is just a loop. Uh, last night, 7 o'clock p.m. through about midnight early this morning, of course. And you can see rolling into eastern Iowa, it flared up pretty quickly. That's why you saw some of those that damage on Grundy County, for instance. But just as quickly as it flared up, it kind of fizzled out, as you can really see moving into well, far eastern portions of eastern Iowa. So this is what's known as the squall line. Again, it's just a line of thunderstorms. And in terms of just a couple definitions here, just before we go, this is more of the science stuff behind it all. Again, it's just a group of storms arranged in a line, just like you saw, and they tend to produce at least some high straight line wind damage. They can do that, and heavy rains, of course, lightning and thunder are pretty common with that as well. And we usually see these, again, during the spring and summertime months, the warmer months in general. But here we are, again, in terms of explaining what this is. So the red arrows that you see, that's warm, humid air. That's what's known as the updraft. That kind of fuels the thunderstorm, the squall line itself. And then once that cools, condenses, Dry air above our heads actually plays a role in this too, but that cooler air will definitely or eventually sink, and that's what's known as the downdraft. And once it hits the ground, it kind of splatters out in a way and forms the outflow. And that's the straight line wind that we saw last night, for instance, in Marshalltown, 68 mile an hour gust down at the Marshalltown airport. So pretty fascinating stuff. I'm always interested by squall lines. Elizabeth and Luke, back to you.